for summer. Okay, Sagwa's next. Sagwa! I sent Sagwa to the village with a small scroll for the reader of the rules. Well, looks like you're next then, dear. Oh, no need, dear. I've... I've already attended to my grooming. completes today's rule from our most magnificent magistrate. Oh, seems that there's one more ruling from the palace. The magistrate forbids anyone to build a campfire in the woods. The trees are as dry as kindling at this time of year, and he does not want any forest fires. What have you got yourself into this time? Ah, playing in mud puddles again, I see. <laughs> what you need is a good bath. Oof, no, what you need is a good trim. <laughs> now stop squirming. You don't want me to slip your tail by accident, do you? Sagwa. Tell us! Tell us! All I can say is, is that it happened far, far away. When you were in the village? No, no. Further. Much further. In the far mountain woods. Oh, really? And how did you get all the way there and back so fast? I was... I was, uh, kidnapped! Kidnapped? <gasps> By who? How? Why would anyone want to kidnap you? Who? Who would do that? Who? A really bad bar... I mean, a bad... Uh, some bad... Bats! Huh? just finished delivering a very important scroll to the reader of the rules when... 
two big bats swoop <gasps> down and swept me up into the air. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Where are you bats taking me? Top secret. No questions. <laughs> hey, put me down. I know Fufu, and when he hears about this, he's going to be really angry. You know Fufu? Yes, and he's my best friend, too. Ooh! <laughs> Fufu, the biggest, scariest bat in the whole colony! Yeah? Then what happened? Yeah, what? I... I'd rather not talk about it. Aw, Sogwa! You gotta tell! Yeah, you gotta! <sighs> Well, then they... they dropped me! <gasps> and you won't believe who I met next. Why, if it isn't a little meow, what's your name? S-S-Sogwa? And who, who are you? I am Senlong. The Rain Spirit Dragon. I live far up in the clouds. But I like to come down to Earth from time to time, too. Wow, you met a dragon? Come on, you weren't saved by a dragon. Was, too. And he said... Oh, look at you. You're covered in pine sap and bark bits. I'm sorry, Sagwa. But that stuff will just not wash out. I'm going to have to give you a little fur cut. What's it like having fur? Must be nice and warm in the... <laughs> what? Rain spirit dragons don't spit fire. Well, well, this one did. And fire is very dangerous in the woods. <gasps> Oh, my. Dreadfully sorry. Don't know what got into me. Maybe your fur. You set a fire. The trees are as dry as kindling this time of year. That fire could spread to the whole forest. <gasps> oh, dear. What do we do? What do we do? I know. Fly down to the sea, get a big mouthful of water, and spray it all over the fire. Great idea! And you're coming with me! And I steered Sen Long by his ears as he swooshed down to the sea! Hey, what's up? Sago was kidnapped by two bats, and then a dragon sneezed and set fire to a tree. And now they have to fly to the sea. Whoa, ho, ho. back up, back up. Kidnapped by bats? What bats? She'd rather not talk about it. It was most horrible. And when she told them you were her best friend, they laughed. Well, that's really rude. They shouldn't laugh at you just because your best friend is a bat. No, they were laughing at you, Fufu. F what? Me? Who were they? Fifu and Fofu? No, no, there weren't really any. I know. It was Fumfu and Fatfu, wasn't it? No, no. I. That was my call for the brave Fufu fighters. Don't worry, Sagwa. We'll find Fumfu and Fatfu and punish them good. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I don't want anyone punished because of me. After what they did to you, Sagwa, the Magistrate should order them never to enter the village! And they should be sent to bed without their suppers. I... I wasn't really kidnapped. What do bats eat for supper anyway? I... <laughs> you don't want to know. I... I mean, if there's anyone to be punished, it should be me. I know. I'll make them clean the bat cave from bottom to top. And <laughs> boy, does it need it. Fufu, I was not kidnapped <gasps> by any bats. I'm... <gasps> Not kidnapped by bats? What do you mean? Oh, I get it. You can't talk. Those bats are still around here, aren't they? Ah, glad you got my message. We got a couple of bad 
bats in the area. You all, spread out. Check the bamboo bushes, the lotus pond. Oh! The... Stop, stop! <gasps> there are no bad bats, no dragon, huh? no fire. I was so embarrassed about the holes in my fur that I made it all up. And once I started, I, I just couldn't stop. You, you lied to us? You mean, I called in the Foo Foo Fighters and there's no one to fight? <laughs> of course, I knew you were making it up all along. <laughs> Fire-breathing dragons. And just why did those make-believe bats of yours laugh at me? I'm sorry, Foo Foo. I, I... Well, how did it end? What? How did what end? Did you and Shenlong go to the sea in time to put out the fire? Oh, there is no ending, Shigua. It never happened. Like Donghua said, I was just lying. Well, you're not now. I mean, if we all know it's made up, the rest of it won't be a lie. Just a good story. A really great story. By the way, Sagwa, how did you really get those holes in your coat anyway? Sagwa, are you all right? We just overheard Cook tell Tai Tai he had to cut patches off your fur. What on earth happened, dear? I went to the market and saw butter and a clay pot exploded all over me. Wow! A clay pot exploded all over you? Did, did a dragon do it? No, no dragon. And no bats either. So what happened? Tell me, tell us! Well, there I was in the village, watching a potter turn a pot on his wheel. It went round and round and round and round, and suddenly, a choo! Bam! <laughs> Blobs of clay flew right at me. Nowhere to hide. I was hit. Blob! 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 blob. What is the meaning of this? Your Magistrate, I have important news. What's he going on about? Your Magistrate, I have just heard that a messenger from Beijing is on his way here with very important news. Oh my! Such fantastic news, dear! A representative is coming here to see us and all the way from Beijing! <laughs> we have to prepare, yes, uh, prepare a proper banquet for this distinguished guest. This will be the banquet of the season! We'll be the talk of all the villagers for miles around! I've assembled you all here for some very important news. We are expecting a special visitor from Beijing. And I want the palace to be absolutely stunning and perfect for this visit. And I want you, Cook, to start preparing an extravagant banquet. The best this village has ever seen! <gasps> He's arrived early! Oh, so late, so late. Time, time, time. Yes, yes, this one, I think. A message from Beijing, your magistrate. My apologies, Your Magistrate, but I must go. I have many scrolls to deliver today. Well, I never. Well, what's it say, dear? Well, what does it say? I've just been informed that I will no longer be Village Magistrate. What? They're taking our, I mean, your job away? Oh, dear. I have never seen the Magistrate so upset before. He's barely eaten anything this morning. Only two bowls of noodles. Yes, my dear friend. 
Tai Tai is also very upset at this most terrible news. Ah, very upsetting news indeed. If the magistrate loses his post, what will happen to all of us? Is everybody to leave the palace? For good? Oh, what are we to do? How are we going to live? What will people think? I don't think I can bear the thought of losing my palace. <laughs> what is all this about? <laughs> Enough! Do you three realize that we're in the middle of a crisis? I honestly don't know if I will be able to keep you three any longer. Since we'll be... We'll be... No, I can't even bring myself to say it. We'll be like everyone else. Commoners! Hiya! Commoners! I've an idea. Why don't we still go ahead with the banquet? Hmm. Not only would a banquet cheer up the Magistrate and Tai Tai, it would also show them how grateful we are to have served the family all these years. A most thoughtful idea. But what about the ceremonial fish? Surely a fish is too expensive now. Hmm. I told you she'd get upset. Where you're going, Furball? Yeah! Where's the fire, Ink Face? My name's Sogwa, not Ink Face, and I'm going to go catch the biggest fish ever for tonight's surprise banquet for the Magistrate and Tai Tai. See you later! As if cats can fish. Sheesh! What if she does catch the biggest fish ever? So? If she does, maybe, just maybe, Tai Tai will decide to keep those cats instead of us. We're royalty. Now, are we going to let that cat outdo us? No, no way! way. Let's, Let's go fishing! fishing! And catch the biggest fish ever! <laughs> oh. Magistrate, um, uh, you cannot go into the kitchen. And why not? Uh, the scrolls! Oh, yes, the scrolls. I left them on your desk this morning. Uh, very important scrolls, and they need your immediate attention. I suppose I still have a job to do until my replacement arrives. Whew. That was close. I am afraid you have forgotten something, my dear friend. I cannot make my special fried pork dumplings guatio without ginger. Ginger! I'll be right back. Mm. Well, that sure is a big fish. Oh, this might be more difficult than I thought. What we need now is a plan, and fast, before Furball there gets that fish. If you'd stop talking and let me think! <laughs> hey, nobody said anything about water. I'm not going in the water! Oh, your magistrate! There were no scrolls on my desk. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I am. I looked all over the study, and do you know what I found? Nothing. No scrolls. You must keep him busy a little longer. I'm sure I left them on your desk, your magistrate. Let's um, look for them together. No water. 
fish or no fish? Me too. I think I have an idea that doesn't involve going into the water. Trying to catch a fish? You? All you did was scare it away. How am I supposed to catch it now? Who cares? We're the ones who are going to catch the fish anyway. Sure doesn't look like it to me. Why don't you go chase a mouse or something and leave the fishing to us? <laughs> we'll never catch that fish if we don't stop arguing. <laughs> if you three would stop yapping, we could figure this out. All right, but only this time. What we need is a better plan than before. And I'm still not going in the water. Hmm. I think I've got it. Ready? Okay, go! over to the kitchen. Just what we needed. The finishing touch. Now we have our ceremonial fish. I thank all of you. Why are we eating in the banquet room tonight? Shouldn't we be eating in the dining room? Uh, because... The dining table is being, uh, fixed, your magistrate. <laughs> being fixed? We haven't the money to have things fixed. <gasps> oh. 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 Oh, my. My dear, dear cook, I thank you and everybody, my wonderful friends, for this. My humble apologies, your magistrate, for this untimely intrusion. For I must confess that I have committed a most dreadful error. It seems I gave you the wrong scroll this morning. When I realized my error, I ran back here as fast as I could. Hmm. Hmm? Beijing has declared that I am doing a exceedingly well and has extended my post for yet another year. Oh, we've got our job back. Yes, my beautiful lotus flower. I am still the village magistrate. On such a momentous day, it would be an honor if you'd join us. To my dear family, my sincerest thanks. Gonbei.